Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Uh, another sign of the escalation in Ukraine is more weapons provided to Ukraine and uh, obviously the Russians will ramp up their, uh, if they still have it, right, arms industry. So let's see what the United States of America agreed to deliver to Ukraine. It's been done uh, today. July 22nd, 2022, and this is from the Defense News. Uh, and this is the title 500 plus drones, extra HIMARS or HIMARS, headed to Ukraine in latest US package. Yay! Okay, let's see, I feel safer already. <laughs> the White House will provide White House? Hmm. In my name. Got it. The White House will provide 580 Phoenix Ghost drones, 580, and five high mobility artillery rocket systems to Ukraine. That's high Mars that the Russians claim they just blew four out uh, this month. This month, and actually in the past, uh, they claim uh, since the fourth, so 18 days, or fourth of the sixth. I think the sixth it was. So anyway. So you got the 16 days, they, they destroyed four, according to the Russians. Obviously the other side is like, all right, White House National, so they will deliver five high mobility artillery rocket systems to Ukraine as part as the latest security, for whom? Package, the latest security package to help in the fight against Russia, officials confirmed Secure, latest security package. So I'm taking that the fact that the uh, United States uses my money or the banks or whatever who is printing the money here in, uh, <laughs> you know, for our defense, they have the Ukrainian fight the Russians for our security. Oh, now I got it. My bad, man. I'm so dumb. Wow. I think I should just stop talking right now because now I got it. Those guys in Washington, they give those guys in Ukraine all these weapons without asking me because they know what's better for me and what's good for my own security because if the Ukrainians don't beat the Russians, the Russians will show up here in America and they will take my life and my property, my freedom of speech. <laughs> That's bullshit. White House National Security Council spokesman, oh my God, John Kirby, that is a weasel, listen to him, also acknowledged that US officials have begun discussions on potential aircraft acquisition for Ukrainian pilots as part of long-term partnership with America, the beautiful. But he said that work is not likely to produce any short-term chances for Ukraine's air forces. Okay, the White House, is, I'm quoting, is making some preliminary explorations in the feasibility, feasibility of potential, potentially providing fighter aircraft to the Ukrainians, but it's not going to be something that they're going to, that they're going to be able to execute immediately. Oh, uh, and I'm quoting again, in integrating and operating any kind of aircraft, especially advanced fi fighter aircraft, involves complex systems and weapons capabilities, and that's difficult endeavor. So this is not something that's going to happen anytime soon. Yeah, like those are, uh, like the Ukrainians are baboons, they've never seen a fighter jet. Okay, yeah, all right. May I, I don't know. May, you know, it's a different system, operational system and all that. Uh, that's you know, you need training with that one. So it says here that about the White House confirmed confirmation solidifies comments from senior US Air Force officials earlier this week that they will work with Ukrainian leaders to shift its Air Force away from legacy Russian MiG and Suhoi fighters and towards m more modern Western made aircraft. Money. Uh, military industrial complex. Somehow those and the uh, uh, the fact that we got involved in that makes those guys money 
and the fact that we placed and uh, instituted, instituted sanctions on Russia makes our um, and other industries, uh, uh, energy industries, money. The only losers here are um, you and I. Or maybe some people make money out of this. Congratulations. But talking about in general. Ukrainian. <laughs> no. The president of Ukraine, Zelensky, has repeatedly said his nation needs more advanced fighters, such as F-16s and F-15s, to counter Russian air forces. The drones and M142 high mobility artillery rocket systems, or HIMARS, are part of the 16th package of military equipment being sent to Ukraine by the United States. Kirby said altogether the White House has authorized more than $8.2 billion in weapon transfers since the start of fighting in February. Now, these guys are saying this like that's a good thing. They, they can't probably comprehend or don't give a damn that some of us might question that as being uh, a good thing. So when they say we're going to send 580 drones, we spent already $8 billion. There's, they're waiting for us to, yes, where's the voting ba box? I need to drop my ballot for you, my man. You're my man. They, they don't think whatsoever that we, we might say, or some of us might say, wait a second, I don't want that to happen. That's stupid. How about negotiate with those guys? You should have negotiated before. You should have let the Ukrainians do what they were supposed to do after the Minsk agreements that they signed. How about that? So they think we're applauding this, or some of us, some of us applaud that. But that's their choice, that's way of being. Like I have my, you know, uh, my own opinion on all these things and I might not applaud it. I, say, I, I might say, no, that's dumb. Let's go back. No, you can't. Go back by going forward. <laughs> Uh, in coming weeks, Ukrainian forces will have access to more than 20 HIMARS, including contribution from Britain and Germany. The rocket launcher has a range of more than 50 miles and has been hailed by Ukrainian leaders as a key tool in halting Russian attempts to advance further into their country. So that means send more. Send more. Well, that's fine. Uh, the Phoenix Ghost is a munition drone which operates similar to the switchblade and was rapidly developed by the United States military uh, spe specifically for Ukraine. What? Why was it specifically for Ukraine? Okay, whatever. The latest, latest shipment would, uh, would more than quadruple Ukraine's arsenal of the drones. While the HIMARS would be drawn from the US military stocks, the Pentagon plans to buy the drones through Ukraine Security Assistance Initiative funds, a senior US defense official said, blah, blah, blah. That means, yeah, we're going to get that and we're going to bill you later. Yeah. So, 8.2 billion so far. Provide more things. It's fine. I mean, as I said, the only thing I really don't like about this is all these things could have been avoided. That's my opinion, not opinion, my assessment. That's how I reason. Could have been avoided after the Minsk uh, agreements in 2014, if they would have been implemented and not done in bad faith, like Poland did uh, with the Germans before the uh, September 1st, 1939 about Danzig corridor or Gdansk and we are where we are okay how what can we do talking with those guys I don't know how what can you do right now this this is where the Russians had to be brought to this is the golden calf or whatever you want to call it it's the greatest greatest uh, plan implemented that's the best the best this I, I what more you want, as one of these guys here, I'm talking about, you know, the guys who really are, are planning things, you know, having Russia fight another nation far away from your land, you're not at war, but you're supplying with weapons and everything else, and you have them fight over there, and you just wait. How they destroy one another. Who's winning? Me. Me and this guy's me, not me, Emil. P 
but <laughs> the guys who are planning. And it's, it's useless. The Russians kept saying this for what? Seven years? This is where we're going to end up. You just played. And we are where we are. How do you think it's going to end? I don't want to think about uh, the Russians using a uh, nuclear weapon just to scare off the weasels. I don't know. That, uh, sometimes I think that certain things here and on this planet are really not the way they, they tell us they are. And I'm talking about if I am at war with someone and I'm 100% at war, I don't see squads going in other countries uh, performing certain um, tasks, if you know what I mean. You know, a poke with an umbrella, you know, a little thing in the, with the, in, in the ear with uh, mercury. You don't see these things. I'm not talking about bombs or uh, I'm not talking about you know, assassinations like, you know, but you would expect to see things if people are at, are at war. I don't see that happen. I didn't see any, anything happen with any Russian official. None was hurt yet. Nobody, the same on the other, the, the other, the other side. Nobody shoots the leaders. Nobody gets the leaders. Do you think because they are so uh, hidden, so protected? I don't think so. What is it then? What is it then? And I'm talking about a terrorist. The terrorists are so impotent, really. Nevertheless, this is another uh, de-escalation of war. More war, more destructions, and those guys gonna destroy one another and uh, these guys are just gonna wait thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just